The vocal transformer effect here in GarageBand iOS is definitely one of the more fun effects to use, but it can also have some pretty practical purposes. So in this GarageBand for iOS Quick Jam, we're going to be taking a look at the vocal transformer and stick around to the end to listen to a version of a Pete Johns track that you're never going to hear anywhere else. Let's go. So what is the vocal transformer effect? Well, the vocal transformer, as its name suggests, transforms a vocal sound by adjusting the pitch and the formant, which is like the tone or the timbre of the sound. And it can be used not only on vocals, but on any other instrument that you can add this effect to. So let's dive in now and take a look at how we apply this effect and some uses for it here in GarageBand. Now, like most of our effects here, the way we can add this is we tap on the mixer icon in the top left here, we scroll down to plugins and EQ, and then if we tap on edit, we can actually add a new plugin here. So let's tap add and select the vocal transformer plugin, and now we can apply this to this vocal lead. So at the moment, with no effect added, our vocal sounds like this. Intoxication has got me under. So let's now add our vocal transformer by coming back in here, turning that on. Now you'll notice that we have two different settings here. We can adjust the pitch and the formant. So the pitch is going to adjust by a certain number of semitones up or down. So if we play this back now, I'm going to adjust this up slowly up to 12 semitones, which will be a complete octave. Uh, somebody's wicked little spell. Anticipation of what it could be. So apart from sounding rather humorous, it can change the pitch of our vocal. Now our formant control changes the timbre, which basically means it will change the way, the characteristics of the tone. So it won't change the pitch, but it will make it sound a bit higher sounding or lower sounding. Let's drop our pitch back to zero and we'll adjust the formant up and see what this does. B has got me going round the band. So that's where we get that sort of chipmunk or that Mickey Mouse kind of sound by adjusting our formant up. Now we can do the same thing by going down. Diction, so warm and comforting. Don't want to be without it now. And we get a very low kind of sound in our voice. So these are interesting, but perhaps not particularly useful unless you're doing a very particular type of song or need a particular type of effect here. So why don't we show you now a real world example of where we can actually use the vocal transformer. So to do this, let's take the transformer off of this vocal. And then what we're going to do is let's duplicate this lead vocal. So we'll tap duplicate. We'll scroll in or zoom in as some people like to say. We'll select this vocal here. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it carefully in the same location on this track. And if you want to know about editing, copying and pasting, as always, I've got other quick jams that you can check out about the editing features here in GarageBand. Now that we have this second track here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that vocal transformer effect back in just to this second track. What I'll do is let's drop the pitch down to minus 12, which is 12 semitones or a whole octave, and we'll drop the formant down by about uh, minus six. So by itself, this second vocal sounds like this now. Intoxication has got me under. So probably not the best uh, sound that we want, but what we can do is if we drop this down to a lower volume underneath our main vocal, we get a sound like this. Has got me under somebody's wicked little spell. Anticipation. And when we put that back into our full mix, of what it could be has got me going round the bell. It's not really present, you don't hear it a lot, but it just adds a little bit more depth and texture to our sound. So we can do this with vocals or we can do it with any other sort of instrument to just add in an additional sound, either an entire octave like we did here, or a certain number of semitones above or below to add some harmony and some extra character to our tracks. So you may have noticed as we've been demonstrating here that this effect does introduce some artifacts and some sort of digital sound that doesn't sound particularly great. So I wouldn't use this as your primary sounds because you're gonna start getting those clicks and pops that are gonna make your overall mix sound a bit bad. But if you use these as a lower volume additional instrument or additional sound, I think they can sound great and really bring your tracks to life. And finally, what about our other instruments? Well, let's take a listen to this bass track as it is at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
So pretty cool, and we could do something similar here. I won't do the full process, but what we'd probably do is if we left that original base there and came in and added our transformer, what we could do is give a second tone that's an entire octave lower that'll sound like this. And there you go, by itself it's not going to sound great, but mixed back in, it could give us that sub bass that'll give this song a bit more kick and a bit more drive in certain parts. And using this method also means that we could come in and use our automation so that we don't need that effect or that second track on all the time. If we did this with vocals or an instrument, we could add it in only at certain parts of the song where we want that additional drive. And if you'd like to learn how to use automation to automate the volume of your tracks, once again, there's a video linked up above and down below. Okay, let's finish up with something a little bit fun. This may be the only time that you hear this version of In Time by Pete Johns. But in time, we can all be friends again and maybe even best friends if we try. And there you have it, the vocal transformer effect put to good and slightly dubious use. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Everybody has a chance to cry.